Welcome to Power Electronics video series by Kemal. In this video, you will get familiar with some important terms related to thyristor in AC circuits, such as firing angle, extinction angle, and conduction angle. You will also be able to solve AC circuits that contains thyristor. Firing angle is the angle at which thyristor starts conducting while extinction angle is the angle at which the thyristor stops conducting. Conduction angle is the difference between extinction angle and firing angle. Conduction angle refers to how long thyristor conducts. In this circuit shown, thyristor is off as long as no trigger signal at the gate. Let's assume that we apply a trigger signal at an angle of 45 degrees. At this angle, the thyristor starts conducting and becomes on. Assuming that the drop voltage across the thyristor is zero, the voltage appears across the load is gonna be the same as the source voltage. Before 45 degrees switches off and voltage across the load is zero, Starting from 45 degrees, the load voltage is the same as the source voltage until the thyristor becomes reverse biased. When the thyristor becomes reversed biased at this point exactly, it stops conducting. This point here is called the extinction angle. It is 180 degrees. We need to apply trigger signal one more time to get the thyristor on again. In this example, alpha is 45, beta is 180, and gamma, the conduction angle, is the difference. Let's have a look at the following example. Angle. In this circuit, we will find the firing angle, extinction angle, and conduction angle. At the end, we will find for how long the thyristor conducts each cycle. Since 20 volt is the RMS value, then the peak value is 20 root 2. Source voltage can be written as follows. When the trigger circuit is resistive uh, circuit, alpha between 0 and 90 degrees, and beta between 90 degrees and 180 degrees. To find alpha, we use trigger current and trigger circuit. Trigger current passes the gate can be written as V source minus the drop voltage across gate cathode divided by gate resistance. We solve this equation firing angle 47 degrees. To find beta we use holding current and load circuit. The load voltage is going to be 1 volt less than the source voltage because the drop voltage across the thyristor is 1 volt. Solving this equation, beta 113. Conduction angle is the difference between beta and alpha. That is 113 minus 47 degrees. Finally, to find the conduction time, we multiply the percentage of conduction angle by the signal period. In this example, the conduction angle is 66 degrees divided by 360 which is the full cycle multiplied by the time the duration for one cycle or one over the signal frequency the thyristor is going to conduct for three milliseconds every cycle 